Okay, let's look at the uh, modifications of the other top tent. It's got one. I've done a split the guy rope and the grommet for the crossover poles. It just fits in a more natural place now. You can see that pole goes all the way to the ground. And the original that was float in the air about six inches off the floor. I'm not sure why I did that, it's such a design mistake. So I've got another length of pole, added it to the end. Now it sits all the way on the ground as it should do. It just looks better, everything feels better with it. That's that. You can also see I've modified the center ridge pole, if you will. Yep, it used to go in that socket there. Well, that sleeve, sorry, probably a better description. But what I've done is added those loops. Everything I got from Tarp Tent, I basically just copied the uh, the Vord Lizard who uses those type of clips all the way around the center. Now, it's a mod, not for the faint hearted. I've got a good sewing machine, I'm pretty good with the sewing machine. So think about it before you do it. But now it goes up so fast. I just found the sleeve quite clunky, but now it's slick and neat. Okay. The one that I'm going to do, we haven't got around to it yet, is I saw it fell man Dave. He was a YouTuber, and all he's done is put a loop or a circle of elastic there. So when he doesn't use the crossover poles, to be honest, I really could have used these. That just connects to the loop like so. Stops from bouncing around and flapping around. What a great solution. What I've been doing is just clipping them together. And then there, got that bit of elastic loop, if you get what I mean. And then it'll just connect to it, it'll tension itself. Great modification. You'll also notice that I've added these little uh, pockets here. Because you've got a lot of guy ropes and they do get in the way. There's a lot of stuff underneath it as well with the five rear poles. Uh, they can get tangled up, so I'll put them in there, stuff them into there, job done. Okay, that's mainly the outside now. Moving First thing you're going to see is that I've added a footprint. This is off a Van Gogh tent. Yeah, to slightly modify it. Put in shock cord, put that, grump, that uh, strap on there, shock cord, so it connects to the loop there, just goes underneath there. The rest of it's sort of like semi permanently fixed in the corners, again on shock cord. That works extremely well. I did notice that the, uh, the pockets inside the tent are quite small, really. It's these little things here. I quite like big ones for throwing things in, like phones, maps, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Keeping the place tidy. So I got those. I actually bought those off Amazon, I believe. And they're for prams. You put them around the handle of the pram. It's a little storage space. But just put some glove clips on there and there. Yeah, just hand sewed those on, quite easy, and then uh, they clip onto it. And really cool, come in handy. There you go. There you go. Top tent, severely modified. <laughs> um, I think I've improved it. I'm fairly confident I have. I'd love to get it out in some really strong weather next winter, maybe. Or not in the UK any day soon. Okay. Thanks for watching.